Hey guys, Hillary here from Old World Home. Happy New Year and welcome if you are new here. I have a lot of new faces that joined us last month. So hey guys, thanks for being here. I am so excited to be kicking off 2020 talking about organization. After Christmas and the new year and the new influx of things in the house, it was time to tackle the stuff. So I am teaming up with my friend Julie from Julie Blanner, her channel here on YouTube, I will link down below. We are going to be sharing with you closet organization. So I am going to take you on a tour of every single closet in our house. I counted it, we have seven closets, and that includes the two very small ones that we have in our master bedroom. But we have made it work in this house. We have everything that we could possibly need stored and organized, and I'm gonna share it all with you now. Starting off with the coat closet that is in our entryway, we really maximize this space to work really well for our family that goes in and out of it every single day. I keep all of the girls and Luke's and my coats on one half of it, along with our shoes. On the top shelf, we have a bin that is really great for hats and scarves and gloves. We also store some board games and some extra learning activities up here. And then one thing my husband and I did when we bought this house was add a second shelf at the top, kind of the necessities that you need to access but you don't need every single day it's really great to be able to just store it up there and we can access it when we need it and then on the left side this is sort of more my husband's side all of his coats because they are bigger they take up more space and then I also keep our wrapping paper organizer which hangs from a bar it fits really well in this space and then at the top is all kind of my husband's things that he needs to store if you have been following along you may know that we have plans to replace these doors these are bypass sliding doors and they get stuck and they're a pain because you can only access one half of the closet at a time. But that project is in the works and I'll be able to share that very soon. And then moving into the kitchen, we do have a pantry closet that is narrow, but it's also pretty deep and we're able to store a lot of things in here. We had our electrician install an outlet so that we could keep our microwave in here and keep it off of the counters. And then my husband and I added all the shelves so that we could store travel lunch bags and pictures pictures and serving platters and we also keep a basket in here for my daughter's lunch making supplies behind this curtain that's at the bottom you can slide it across and then we have two rolling bins down here that sort of just hold our overflow pantry items things we're not using every single day just sort of the backups and then on the wall we installed a few pegs so we could hang our floor cleaner our broom my apron just really trying to maximize every possible square inch and then moving into our linen closet, it is also a very small closet, but we have maximized it and there's still room to spare because we really only keep what we're actually using or could potentially use in the future. So all of our towels are on one shelf. There are a few in the wash at the time that I filmed this, but everything fits in that space. We store and organize all of our hair things, beauty supplies, extra soap, and then the two lidded boxes hold our medicine in one and all of my nail supply things in the other. And then we did the same thing in this closet, which was to install a smaller shelf all the way at the top for, again, those infrequently used items but they still have a place to go and they're out of the way, but they're also easy to get to because I do have a step stool that I keep next to our vacuum that actually folds in half and it fits perfectly in this space. So moving into our bedroom, like I mentioned, my husband and I both have pretty small closets by American standards. Honestly, everything that I wear fits so well in this closet. I do do a capsule wardrobe about twice a year. I do sort of a spring summer and a fall winter. And then all of the out of season clothes I store up at the top. And then at the very, very top, again, it's just items that I use infrequently, but when I need them, they're easy to get to. And then at the bottom is where I store more shoes, the ones that I'm wearing daily, I keep in the front coat closet throughout the season. And then I also store my lighting kit for when I film videos, it all folds down. And then one of the most important things that I keep in my closet is a donation box. I keep it here all the time, and as I move about my home, if I come across something that I don't need anymore, that someone else could use, I just put it in this box, and when it fills up, I bring it to the donation center. And then in my husband's closet, we actually just went in and reorganized it in the beginning of November. And now we have everything sort of categorized by short sleeve shirts and then all of his long sleeves and flannels that he wears, all of these. It may seem like a lot, 
but it fits all in here really nicely. And then at the bottom, he has a lot of outdoor gear. We also have an air mattress that we store in here. And then his two pairs of boots are down here as well. And then at the top, he again has sort of more outdoor gear and things that we store in bins. And then we also store band-aids in here because I don't know about your kids, but mine just love to play with band-aids. So when we actually need one for a real cut, we have them in here. And then moving into my girls' room, they do share a closet, and I did a major overhaul of their toys this new year, in the first couple days of the new year. They got new toys for Christmas, so I wanted to implement a toy rotation. This is something that a lot of people have done, and I just thought now is a good time to try it. So now at the top of one half of the closet is a majority of their toys all organized in separate bins. So now when they want to play with something, we bring it down, they play, and we clean up, and we put it back. And then of course their clothes are organized by type. And then my younger daughter has this organizer in her closet and this is where she keeps all of her shirts and pants, pajamas. And then at the very bottom is an empty drawer. And that is where I'm going to store anything that is from my older daughter that I wanna save for her younger sister. And then on the other side, again, we have more toys at the very top that can go into that rotation. I also keep a basket up here for my older daughter of clothes that will be for the next season. And at the bottom is just kind of like open free space so they have just a few toys down here and they're always creating some kind of robot or using a cardboard box they can just store all of those creations and then we can close it away and shut the door and the room can stay nice and neat and then lastly in my son's nursery I would say about half of it is for him when I had my girls nurseries their closets were full of dresses and sweaters and things like that but with him it's mostly just coats and then he has a few things in this hanging organizer like swim diapers for the summer and his crib sheets and extra shoes. But then the rest of the closet is kind of just for the kids as a whole for overflow toys like Duplos and building blocks and things like that that they all collectively use together. I really do try to look at our closets as a limiting container and I want everything that is needed for that room to fit in that container. So I do like to go through them pretty frequently and just weed out the things that we're not using, that we don't love, because I have little kids. Their interests change, they're growing physically, mentally. It's just we're in a season of things evolving and things changing. So our home should evolve and change along with them. So be sure to head over to Julie's channel and check out her gorgeous home and how she has her closets organized. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe. I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.